Hello people, this is going to be a WooCommerce uh, tutorial. These thumbnails, you know, they get a little blurry sometimes in WooCommerce. And you scroll down here and you'll see related posts. And maybe these images are a little bit too blurry for you. So I'm going to show you how to do that. One of the first things that you're going to need to download into your WordPress is a Regenerate Thumbnails plugin. Let me show you what that looks like. So if we go over here to install plugins, you'll see if you scroll down here, you want this one, regenerate thumbnails, okay? <clears throat> so you're not going to regenerate all your thumbnails, okay? Because, you know, if you go to Jader's website here, if you look at the front, you know, it's uh, the, the, the uh, thumbnails are beautiful. You know, nice and clear and big and just like she likes them, okay? So, but... You know, whenever we go to the shop page, we have a little d bit different parameters to set. You know, these ones probably look okay, you know. But whenever you go into the product itself, uh, you know, maybe this thumbnail is a little bit blurry, you know. And we want to make sure that this, you know, that it reflects a, a nice, good, clear photo. When we scroll down here, these are a little bit blurry, too. So it's important for you to understand, like in the WooCommerce settings here, what each one of these mean. So you could hover over this. This size is usually uh, used in the product listings, okay? The single product image, the size is used by the main page on the product page, or the main image on the product page, okay? So this would be the M. And product thumbnails, okay, this size is usually uh, used for gallery, you know, and the gallery images on the product of the, the page. Okay, so you'll notice whenever we look at these, you know, we have this long rectangular shape. Well, maybe we want them, you know, cropped center and whatnot. Well, we can, we can handle that here by, you know, ticking this hard crop. And we can adjust the image sizes now, okay, without having to go back and re-upload all of the images. So the product thumbnails are a little bit blurry, okay? And that, that means, you know, you, you, <laughs> whenever you're on the product, and you're looking at these uh, different thumbnails, you know, they're look, looking a little bit blurry. So what we want to do is we can enlarge this, you know, maybe instead of 150, 250, okay, 250, you know, we'll hard crop them. And we can enable the light box. So here are catalog images, like when we're on the shop page. We're on the shop page here. Let's go to the shop page. So this would be our catalog images, all right? So we're going to make them going to make them 300 by 300 pixels in hard crop them. Okay, the single product image. That's when we click on something, right? When we click on this and we see this big image right here, this is the single product image, okay? All right, and we could hard crop that too, you know, if that's if that's what you want. And then the product thumbnails. So this would be like the galleries. So that would be like what's underneath here. You know, we can make these a little bit larger. All right. So once we have these settings, we save these settings. All right. Then what we want to do you now, we installed the plugin for to regenerate the, the the thumbnails, but we won't don't want a lot of a lot of you have this setting right here on your uh, um, media library. Okay. Well, we want to go to the list view. Because list view gives us an easy way just to tick these boxes of the ones that we want to. Now, if we only had one, we could just hit regenerate thumbnail. But what we want to do is we want to go down through here to these images because these are the ones that she's using on the display in WooCommerce. And we just want to re regenerate these specific images. So we're going to go to go bulk actions, regenerate thumbnails, click apply. All right. Now that's going to go through and it's going to do nine image. It's going to resize them in uh, lightning time, I guess. Uh, all right, so there we go. We're all done with that. So the next thing that you're going to have to do so you can see the change is clear your cache. So Jader Balm is using Super Cache, which is very cool. So we'll go to here to Contents, delete the cache, delete the expired. Okay, now I left this image on here for on purpose, so when we hit Control and Refresh, we should be able to see a change, and that's what we do. So we see that this image now has become cropped. You know, the thumbnail is a little bit clearer. If we scroll down to the bottom here, let's look at these other images. They're a little bit clearer, you know. Um, this one here might still have a little bit of blurriness around it. But let's go ahead and look at that particular um, 
type of thing. Now, what WordPress does is it'll create uh, three or four more different files of your image whenever you upload an image, okay? So we're going to go ahead and make sure that this image here, let's inspect the element, see what image we're using. Um, see, it looks like we're using a resized image. So if we're using a resized of a resized image, that'd be no good. So what we want to do is go in here and edit the product. And let's go down here to our uh, featured product. Okay, so there's the feature listing. So we're going to remove this and just put it back in there. So let's remove the featured image. And then let's set the featured image once again from our media library. <clears throat> And that was the um, this one right here, I believe. Okay, this one right here looks like the, the the full featured image, and we'll go ahead and click set featured image. We're going to go ahead and update that because from that featured image, that's where all the thumbnails get generated from from this one, and then WordPress will pick out its own versions of it. Okay. Okay, let me go ahead and view the product. Okay, so we're seeing that, that cropped image there that scrolled down a little bit. Let's look at these images down here. Okay, these images look clear. Okay, so let me click on one of these so we can see the featured image of the one that we just changed. If we scroll down here, it still looks a little bit blurry. So we might want to get a better image uploaded with a higher pixel density. That's probably what we need to do here. Uh, the, the, maybe the, uh, you know, the original image lost of lost of some of it but we can see that this one here is clear so after regenerating the thumbnails so ultimately uh, you know regenerating it setting the uh, the different thumbnail sizes and then regenerating them works but if you're dealing with a lower quality image you're just going to have to re-upload uh, the image the original image and then get it set in there okay this is Max with AM Website Pro I hope that this helps somebody out out there